so cool. She's like, come here, daddy. <laughs> This is Kirby Mary here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my new series called Devil May Cry 4. By the way, strap in people, this is a Devil May Cry game and you know it's gonna be badass. If you guys are wondering, um, isn't the next episode supposed to be Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda? Well, here's what happened. Um, I just simply made the decision to discontinue the series in general. Um, I'm not gonna go much into detail why, I just simply wasn't, well, I mean, as simple as that. I just wasn't having fun with the game anymore like I did in the beginning, and, you know, simply stopped. And I just want you guys to understand that there are some games that just simply need to be let go. It's not healthy when you're playing a game that isn't fun. And it's not making you have a good time in that sense. And that's the decision I decided to take upon on. And just let Zelda go. And we had our fun. We did a couple of episodes. But it comes to an end. And I know this is the second game that I had to discontinue after Modern Combat 5. Yeah, you don't say! But Modern Combat 5 was... I did have fun with that one. It's just that the... You know, the microtransaction stuff that it had in the game was the reason that made me discontinue it as well. But yeah, um, if I am I gonna play Legend of Zelda games in the future, probably. Yes. But don't expect to get the same outcome. So yeah, if you guys have a problem with the decision that I just made to discontinue it because you wanted me to play it fully. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not gonna happen. So yeah, but I want to thank all those people who supported Zelda throughout the time. And uh, yeah, sorry to see it go. So yeah. Anyways, so like I said, strap in for the twist. We're gonna be playing Devil May Cry, um, the fourth game. I never played the fourth game because I legit did not knew there was a fourth game. Um, last year we played, no, not, la not last year, that was two years ago actually. Whoa. Two years ago I played Devil May Cry 5 on my channel where pretty much I, uh, I ended up loving more than I think. And also I didn't realize that there was a fourth one because, you know, there's a... Fifth, you know, it was really confusing because I only played the first three and then not knowing about four, but then finding about f the fifth one, it was like, huh? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, but I found out about Devil May Cry 4. Um, this is gonna be pretty much a blind story for me. It's only 11 hours as long as I checked, so it might be short episodes. Um, this story is with Nero because, so yeah, the story is more of Nero again which I didn't know much from DMC5 um, and his girlfriend Kyrie from the phone appears in this game physically um, Nico doesn't appear in this game but her father does which is like I think the main villain of this game and Dante appears, Trish and Lady as well uh, and I think Virgil too I think, I don't know um, but I really did love Devil May Cry 5 I think it brought back the classy style of DMCs um, but in a more modern way so yeah I'm very excited to start this one enough bickering enough yamming all right so there's this is a special edition so you can play either as Nero or Dante Virgil Lady and Trish or the legendary Dark Knight I guess nice but I guess obviously in the beginning for this we'll just play as Nero and Dante <laughs> But, so yeah, there could be some features that you might be like, it doesn't look good, but it's because it's from the 2000s still. And I guess that's the girl. 
girlfriend of Nero, Kyrie. Wow! That's Nero. By the way, Nero is super different from the fifth. Then he has a broken arm. That's weird. She's very pretty. Like Eric King's girl. Be copyright claim, by the way. No, God, please, no, no. No, oh, she doesn't see Nero. Oh, baby girl, if you knew he was fighting monsters. It's a typical thing. Hmm. <laughs> okay, he made it in time. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Two thousand years ago, the Dark Knight, Sparta, turned against his demon brethren and took up his sword for the sake of mankind. Though, despite his brave efforts in our names, I fear some have forgotten the truth that great sacrifice. If the events of that terrible time were to reoccur, the fusing of both Boy, if you don't and human realms, we weak humans would have no means by which to oppose our submission. And so I ask you to unite and pray. That even if such a dark time of chaos you got her a gift. were to revisit us, our gracious savior would shelter us from the storm. Let us pray. Yet. 
All this preaching's putting me to sleep. Huh? Hey, my controller's vibrating when this is. Surprise, my. Dante! Uh oh. He killed the priest. What the? I think the priest was evil and he knew. Oh my god! And it's like I finally realized this is some creepy behavior. Get the gift, girl. This is going ugly. And by the way, the game is making it seem like Dante is a villain. But I never believed one second that Dante would be evil. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, he just kicked him in the face like nada. That man's an imposter. That man is the imposter. There can't be two. No! Kyrie! Go with your brother and get out of here! I will return with help! You stall him until then! Wait, do I gotta fight him now? No! God, I please, no! Like, come here, Daddy. <laughs> By the way, Dante is um, Nero's uncle. You have an idea of who whose son is he? If you watch DMC Five. <laughs> By the way, and it's beginning to piss me off. Okay, this isn't crazy. Okay, automatic. When automatic mode is selected, you can perform complicated combos by simply repeatedly pressing attack buttons. <laughs> okay, move. Your character will move in the direction you press. Depending on how hard you press today, they will either walk or run. Gun attack. Repeatedly press square to fire your equipped gun. You can also fire your gun while in mid-air. Attack with your guns, letting your enemy get too close. <laughs> How do I... Mm. Ah, okay, like Ghost of Tsushima tutorial, okay. Duh. Okay, jump. Press X to jump. You can also evade enemy attacks by jumping. Okay. This is a pretty cool tutorial. I don't know if I'm actually evading him. Okay.
say I'm so bad. <laughs> Red orb, a magic redstone of crystallized demon blood offered to the gods to earn new power. Come on, start shooting, bruh. Wait, yeah, how do I... Hey, we did it! I don't know how I played the second time, though, but... Nice. Okay, side row. One on the ground, press R1 sideways on the left, the joy button. By rolling sideways, you can evade an enemy's attack. When enemy starts attacking, roll to the side. Um, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Bruh. Okay. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Did I do it? That means I do a barrel roll! Ooh, Yay! Okay, I thought it would be. Man. He's gone! God damn it. Behind you! I guess this doesn't quite cut it. <gasps> We're using sword! Oh, just like in DMC5. In a sword like that if you aren't even gonna use it! Oh! Okay, red queen combo A while on the ground, press triangle for quick slashes depending on timing number. I hope it teaches me how to cover me. One, two, three, four, four, I don't get what's going on. Melee Bruh. attack to high roller. While on the ground, press R1 plus left joystick with triangle. Blast the enemies into air and upward strike. Perform powerful techniques by using various commands. Okay, let me see again. How do I do this one? Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Just. Are you aware that you're not to die out on stage? No, 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 one more time. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! His arm. Uh, hmm. You got a trick up your sleeve. I thought the cat had your tongue. Got him! <laughs> The trick you're looking for. So this is a new thing because in DMC5 he uses a replacement mechanic um, hand the majority of time. I don't think we get to use a lot of the other ones. He's in the right. I want to wrap this show up before the cavalry arrives. Yeah, this is new. Buster press circle near an enemy can be performed in midair. You can grab an enemy with a devil bringer and toss them away like a cheap toy. Dep depending on your enemy, the, the throw will vary. Okay. This is absolutely okay. Bad. Longest tutorial ever, by the way. So 
something's like, what's up, I'm just chilling here, baby. So, you're looking to play, huh? I, I thought that's what I was doing. Alright, I guess I got some time to kill. <laughs> Tough guy, huh? Yeah, he's gonna probably escape. Yeah. I think I'll have to take you down a couple notches. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, it's so facial. Um, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just kidding me. It just me. Alright. The game did not top me. I wanna... I did not learn. Hold on, my camera is running out of. <laughs> Stop turning yourself off in middle. It's pretty tough. I don't. I never done this before, so. Okay, so his hand is pretty powerful. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done, but that was a little bit too tough. Yeah. I never fought. Yeah. I, I'm losing my DMC touch. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No! <laughs> By the way, that's like a pillow on him. <laughs> Oh, oh no, you God. shouldn't have done that, boy. You shouldn't have done that. Getting better. I would even go as far as to say that I underestimated your abilities. You aren't human, are you? No! We're the same. You and... Oh! And them. <gasps> Though so they were... I suspect you carry something different from the others. What are you talking about? You will come to learn the meaning soon enough. But, business beckons. Hey! He just left. Adios, kid. <laughs> oh my god, you f camera, stop! You got away, okay? Ah, oh, that style. It's never in doubt. Being proud soul, soul filled with the pride of noble blood, indispensable when boosting one's ability. Um, using the proud soul acquires upon the completion of a mission will allow you to obtain new skills. While proud souls must be expended to obtain new skills, they can be returning. You should decide to unlearn these skills. Skills can be obtained on the mission star screen as well as divinity statues found during missions. One thing that I'm already noticing is it's got way too many cutscenes. Yeah. More cutscenes than the MC5 in, in this case. I don't know if the I don't remember if the older ones had a lot of cutscenes too. You brought this here for me? Kratos requested. She yearns for your touch. This blade's the best battle companion a swordsman could wish for. Oh, 
Oh, her gift didn't die. No, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a pretty necklace. So pretty. Fortuna Castle, huh? That's what the witnesses said. Guy just came from hell. He's gotta hit up a couple tourists. Just so lightly in a time of crisis? <laughs> Look, we're doing everything we can to catch him. We must capture him. Trust me, I'll get it done. Please be careful. You still haven't recovered. There's no time, and duty calls. <laughs> Can't pass on an emergency. I must return to headquarters and report. So she and that guy are brothers and sisters. No. Someone okay. help me! <laughs> the way she grabs his hand, like, oh my baby boy. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and by the way, Kiri is the only girl so far that I know that she's a damsel in distress. She probably should just stay the hell away and not slow us down. <laughs> Is this him? I, I'm not sure. Kratos, take care of Kitty. I got this. We'll do this part and then we'll probably save it later. Report the residents back to headquarters. Report back as soon as you can. And be careful. I got it on me. Run! Go with the others. Oh, she's gonna get save the child. You're my hero, mister. Nero! <laughs> Let's get to the action already. Not so fast. <laughs> nice shot! The music. Let's just keep going. I want to do this some of sure the action. Pack a punch. I want to do some of the action. Okay, map. Your entry point, other doors. Your current position is shown on the mini map, which is displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. The place where you enter the room as well as other doors are displayed on the mini map. If you select map at the pause menu, you can view maps of the area you have visited so far. Lock on. Press R1. To Oh, I... Okay. This is how fast you can run, by the way. Um, DMC5, you can run faster. But obviously, I must, uh, I must have to because of how the fact is... Okay, investigate. Press circle or X to examine suspicious looking areas. Okay. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> we need to try to get that orb. Quick jump. After a jump, press X near a wall, perform a double jump. Okie dokie. Got it. 
I remember always look for the zip red arms. But wait a second. My okay, I can charge my sword. Oh, sorry about that. Cutscenes again. More cutscene involved. More cutscene involved. <laughs> These are puppet monster thingies. Oh yeah, and probably can seal doors. During a mission, specific areas may become sealed upon entry. Red seals are broken by defeating all the enemies in the area. Blue seals, blue seals are broken by solving a puzzle located within the area. Oh, I can literally this one. Destroy at green orb, a magic green stone of crystallite demon fluid. It returns lost life. <laughs> hey, I can break everything. Thank you so much for just doing this part. For me. Now, um. Anyways, as much as I would like to continue this first episode, I'm going to end here. It's been a little bit fun. I like it so far, except it's cutscenes. I like the cutscenes. They're pretty badass, but they're a little too long as well anyways. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate it if you do. Also, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.